Hello everyone. Welcome to the handy dishwasher demo. The power supply arrangement and the cleaning order shown in this demo are illustrative. You can choose these based on your convenience. For example, you can power the dishwasher directly to the socket or through an extension cable. Now let's start with cleaning with a large brush. So the process is similar to what you do manually. So you first dip the brush in the cleaning liquid and then start cleaning the vessel. The two things you have to remember is try and keep the power supply above the washing level. Splashing is not an issue but sometimes if the water accidentally pours the power supply is above it. Now like you do in normal you clean the vessel once and then rinse it. The rinsing part is manual and like you do today once you rinse you see whether all the stains are removed if it's not removed you clean again so what you see here is what you get there is no new learning required on your part and you can continue to do what you are doing today the advantage is this will be less effort more consistent results and almost no contact with chemicals now you rinse and wipe and the cleaning process is complete. Now you may want to change the brush to start cleaning the smaller vessels. The process is very simple and we have posted a video that shows this in detail. The cleaning with the small brush is similar to cleaning with the large brush. There is no difference and you again dip the brush in the cleaning liquid and then start cleaning the vessel. When you dip the brush, it is a good idea not to switch on the dishwasher. Overall, you should switch it on only when you are cleaning and in all other times, you should switch it off. And if there is a power interruption as you are cleaning, you should remember to switch it off. The brush is designed in such a way that it can enter the mouth of the narrow vessel and also is deep enough to hit the bottom of those vessels. So all the common vessels that we use can be cleaned by the combination of these two brushes. Now you rinse again and the cleaning process is complete. After you complete cleaning you may want to clean the brush. Dip it in the water and switch it on. The rotation will clean the brush. You shake it and then you can hang it. Whenever possible, you can also dry the brush and you switch off the power. This completes the cleaning process. We hope you find this information useful. Thank you once again for considering our product. Thank you.